we, you know, we're part of the community, but now we're getting screwed. Excuse my French, but that's what's happening. Why? Because somebody up there has a vendetta on one project that's wrong, so they're going to hold up everything. And even that project was reviewed by that department and okayed. But they have an issue with it. It's not right. And we can't write a check here. They, they no, but we can set time limits on when we can get paid. We need to be paid. Mr. County Attorney, can we set time limits on requiring a specific time for an internal audit? It's been going on over two months now. Last week it was that they weren't signed up for two months. It's been not, they're not signed up now. All of a sudden, today it's an internal audit. Come on, this is it's well beyond. This is a clerk issue. I, mean, I hate saying that, but this is a clerk issue. I mean, from what I understand, staff has reviewed the invoices, approved the invoices, and for whatever reason, and I have no idea what the particulars are, the clerk is withholding payment anything they can to find some reason yeah well they're putting us out of business and it's not fair to us and um, you know it's just not right I think what they're doing somewhere is criminal and if it is that they need to go to jail I mean it's like a conspiracy and it's not fair to us yes it is and you've lied to us crystal yourself many a times okay commissioners um, I I'm not going to engage with Mr. Summers. We've had numerous meetings with them. They're aware that there are some issues. There are additional issues that we have to vet in order to make a legal payment. That's the status. Over and over and over okay. again. Okay. And you've still come up with the same conclusion. Oh. These people's people have told you what it is. They've suffered all along. But you guys, because you're having a little bicker going on here, aren't paying us. Okay. S okay. Squeeze on them. Not just us, but there's other vendors. Oh. How much do you hand? Oh, okay, Mr. Mr. Summers, please. I'm going to have to. Uh, you're, what you're saying is noted, sir, and I appreciate it. We'll, we'll do what we can to look into the circumstance. Well, just to let you know, we've already requested all the emails coming from her, her computer system and Dwight Brock's, and we're going to turn them over to our attorney. And if there's any wrongdoing there, we are going to look for prosecution. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Thank it. You. Okay. Your, your next speaker is Marvin Courtright. He'll be followed by Robert Messmer. I want to, can you get that guy back okay. in? Marvin. Commissioner Hiller. Yeah, the first question I have is, um, County Attorney, where, yeah, if you just step back up here, because I want to get a better understanding of this issue. County Attorney, where does it provide in the law that the clerk has to co-sign checks? I believe it's statutory. I'm going to have to get that to you. I'm just... I need to see the, the specific statutory reference. Now, I know that there are two statutory provisions that make the clerk individually liable for issuing an improper warrant, that there is a separate statutory provision that makes the board uh, liable if, but not individually, but if we issue an improper warrant. Um, but I don't see anywhere in the law where it says that um, the clerk must co-sign the board's checks. I get that. And, and I want to know if there's a statutory provision, if there's case law on that. I, I'm just not aware of anything like that. And, and if there isn't, um, then I think um, the board should uh, consider having the ability to, to execute checks independently um, if, you know, based on our review, we deem it to be legal and there's no evidence to the contrary. Mm. Um, the, the second issue that I have with what you're describing, sir, is now you suddenly being tied up in an internal audit to avoid payment. Um, Leo, were you notified that there was an internal audit going on of, I don't know, what division or this transaction? I mean, you know, where, where does the, the line between the pre-audit and internal audit uh, start transitioning. I mean, my understanding is what the clerk was doing was engaging in the pre-audit function, and now all of a sudden it, it's morphed from the pre-audit to an internal audit. What What is, how can we have an internal audit investigation of what is supposed to be the pre-audit function? 
I don't know that I can answer that question, Commissioner. That's probably a... Those well, are, I'm going to ask the county attorney then. What's the answer to that? I think the clerk is ultimately responsible to ensure that all invoices are lawfully paid. And I think from my understanding, and really, I've had very little conversation on this particular matter. My understanding is that that's being questioned now, that there may be some ir irregularities involved in this transaction mm -hmm. that the clerk's looking into. So that goes to a pre-audit. This is a compliance issue. I mean, obviously, what we're when you're looking at a payment that will be made as opposed to um, uh, an uh, approved expenditure of funds, we're dealing with compliance work, the determination of whether or not um, the, the invoices presented should be paid. I mean, how does that turn into an internal audit versus the pre-audit function? I mean, the, what, 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 and, and if there are alleged irregularities, what, what are they accusing you of doing improperly that they're not paying you? They're saying that our measurements don't add up with the measurements that their own division comes up with the same measurements as I do. All our measurements are good, except for they're saying they're not. They're different. Mm -hmm. Our contract states six inches concrete is considered our square yard. To them, we could be 10 foot deep, and it's a square yard. But that's not written. Our, it's specifically written in our contract, six inches. Do, do we have a contract that provides for six inches, Jeff? Ma'am, like I said, I, I know very little about this matter. I'm well, I mean, you you approve the contract. <laughs> well, I don't remember this particular. Well, one. I mean, this is a this is a I mean, this is a big deal. I mean, we've got hundreds of thousands of dollars owed to a vendor. It's a legal issue. How come you haven't looked into it? Does does the county attorney know anything? about Ma'am, the contract reads there's two line items. One is a line item for uh, concrete sidewalks, and it goes by square yard, and the contract reads six inches in depth. There's another line item that says miscellaneous concrete work by square yard. Staff interpreted that to be six inches in depth, and where he had put in more than six inches, they used the multiplier because it was more than six inches to give him for the additional concrete. Apparently, there's a discrepancy with the clerk's office on how that's calculated and if that line item is appropriate. Uh, but that is one, one item. I don't know about these other ones that he's not being paid for. There appear to be sidewalk ones. Sidewalks. No. So, I mean, but that contract was reviewed by the county attorney, right? Yes, ma'am. And that, can't, that contract, in terms of its specifications, was deemed to be protective of the county's arrangement and adequately clear to allow for proper payment. Honestly, it would be good for me to get with Crystal's office to, to, to see now what the different issue is. If it is just a line item interpretation, uh, my recommendation would be to bring that interpretation back to the board and get this man approved. Um, and that'd be the simplest way to do that because I think right now there's a discrepancy. One light on he's being used. He's being so used. we're looking at the interpretation of a line item in the contract, not any sort of fraud perpetrated by the uh, vendor. Not, not that I'm aware of, man. Other than the contractual. And issue. and we have a county attorney who approved the contract as written, and so obviously I'm assuming that in your review, county attorney, you ensured, you know, when you you said that we could go ahead and bless it that. The provisions were drafted in a way that he could be appropriately paid. Ma'am, I would really like to get with Crystal and see where the next step of this is. If, if it's bringing an item to the board, you know, in my discussions with our staff, I'm happy to do that. If it needs clarity. Just, my my can, question can is, we, is why hasn't Crystal brought this to your attention? Can, can we have staff just review this and get back to us at the next meeting and see if we can resolve this as soon as practicable? But I just don't see where the internal audit is. I mean, if you're talking about an interpretation of a line item in a contract, you know, where's the fraud? Well, let's, well, let's, let's determine what... And, and is this nothing more than a cover for not having properly paid this vendor? And, and again, this is part of the pre-audit function, and, you know, it should have been referred to the county attorney for interpretation, to staff for interpretation, and a discussion between you guys, which should have been done months ago if this guy hasn't been paid. Pressure. 